Hello. Um, it seems like it's going to be just you and me today. I hope that you can hear me well. Um, if not, let me know. I'm sitting at a, at a Starbucks and it could be a little bit noisy. Um, so, apologize in advance. Um, again, as this is our week two Tuesday meeting. So, um, my camera isn't working at this moment. You can't see me yet. At any rate, um, you should uh, you should have submitted your assignments for this. Um, okay. So I see that there are twenty nine submissions, which is excellent. But we're still missing three people. Um, okay, so let me go to speed grader. And let's just look at uh, at yours right here. So looking good there. But anyway, that was all right. Okay. And if I were to grade this, it would be full credit. Okay, so full credit for phone. Um, and then who else do we have today? Uh, Fernanda. Let's look at Fernanda's work. Okay, everything checks out for Fernanda as well, so she will get full credit. Okay. <coughs> so, um, and then we have our Jasmine. Let me see here. Just give you some feedback on your uh, work. So Jasmine's work look is looking good as well. So then you will also get full credit. I'm gonna I'm gonna grade it on Friday. But just letting you know in advance that that's gonna come that's come down the pipe, so to speak. Okay, so do you have any question about week one? Week two should be up for you already, and you should um, have yeah, you should have access to this since Sunday. Um, you will start here at the required readings. You know, start at uh, start with module, and then look at these um, bullets. Check out these two videos. Okay, and then after you're done with that, click next. Check this video on an updated online text. It could be an FYI for you. It could be useful. Now, uh, this one we're not doing, so ignore this one. You, you guys don't see this anyways. No, no. Um, this one is just um, an FYI on online study skill and managing time okay so check that out you're not um, you're not required to do anything with uh, these FYI posts and this is another FYI on how to how to participate in um, class discussion online and then you go to this uh, this assignment this is where you post something okay we have um, tasks here. One of them is annotation, review, and practice. Another one is here, first impressions. <laughs> this is a, a difficult one on the curious writer because you have to answer four questions. And then this task right here um, is on the personal essay, which is the first essay that you're going to be working on. You have some uh, exemplars here, including 
professional and student. So take uh, take your time and break this down into various settings so that you can you can complete them all. It's overwhelming if you try to complete them all at once. Okay. What question do you have so far regarding week two? This is the this is the end of week two. The discussions is the end of week two right here. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Do you have a question? Anybody? So it's pretty straightforward. This is uh, this week is um, primarily used to acclimatize you to our um, online setting and also to prepare you for writing our personal essay. Okay. This this is essay is a major assignment. So get started on it um, as early as you can by doing this discussions forum and then uh, thinking about um, what you're gonna write for yourself for your own um, essay after looking at these exemplars. Okay, if nobody has any question, our meeting is gonna conclude. And uh, if you have more questions, then you can always join, back, um, join me back on Zoom on Thursday. Thursday. Yeah, five. Next next week at Thursday at five. You guys doing okay? Oh, can you hear me? Sorry, go ahead. Um, I have a question. On, yeah. On the first task. Ah, uh, this one. Okay, go ahead. So, so here on the. Um, so for for this one, we only post the um test for the uh, memoir, right? Yeah. Right. Yes. Yeah, so um, so just this is all you need to do for first tasks after reviewing mm -hmm. the resources here. Um, just like like follow what it states here, right? And post a paragraph on how you would undertake your memoir. So that forces you. To look at the memoir list, the the list of memoirs, and then select them. Okay, have you have you given more thoughts on which memoir to read? Now, if you have not, then that path is again forcing you to select one. Okay. Yeah, I understand because I saw you read out a post it like twice so you see it's right under the yeah. So, so okay. Um, again, I, I would try next time when I host uh, online meetings, I would try to be at, at a quieter place. All uh, these noises um, distracted me a little bit. But, um, but yeah, so I'm not going to check your annotation. It is um, a choice that you do on your part. Um, it's a skill that you need to apply um, continuously for this class and for other classes as well. Um, it's like an almost like a given that you need to do uh, for college nowadays. And annotating um, as a skill helps you retain information better. And when you read your memoir, which is a book length work, um, you often will forget. So annotating it will help you remember it better. When you do your um, book project, your semester long project, which I, I'll introduce next week, you get um, a better sense of how, and, uh, how to approach working on it with your group. So that's coming down, but right now I would suggest that you at least select one of these memoirs and start uh, looking at it, start reading it um, slowly and slowly. We do have um, about 14 weeks on it and um, we do need you to finish reading your selected memoir within 14 weeks. Okay. Okay. 
Any other question? So I just want to make sure one more question, the last task. So we only post uh, our pre recording Um phone can can you also type your question in the chat field because um again I'm I'm having a hard time listening to to your voice here. I don't know why I did that. I have like my, my friend sent me messages and I just skipped it. Does um, Jasmine or Fernanda have um, any question for me? Okay, so I see your question here. Um, yeah, so, so for the last task here on the personal essay. Um, yeah, just a paragraph on what you got from looking at these exemplars. And this uh, also post, actually this is a different task and I need to highlight it, I need to fix it right now. The, uh, the, the next to the last task on uh, the person essay is asking you to put, to post a, a pre-writing, okay? Your pre-write and pre-writing is simply it can it can just be a paragraph. If you do um, if you choose to do free writing, you can just post that there. Or if you cluster, you can share your cluster. Um, if you did uh, brainstorming, you can just post your lists here. So this task again is forcing you or en enabling you to think about. Uh, your personal essay and then try to narrow it. Now, I know that you probably have already written personal essays prior to this class, um, but the, the kind of personal essay that we're writing is based on the previous writer. Okay, so it's a little bit different. So be sure that if you're gonna recycle your previously written essay that you match that essay with um, whatever is required, match it with the type of personal essay that is introduced um, and um, presented in the curious writer. So you probably need, I mean, you would need to watch this video and then look at the book, chapter three of this book, the curious writer, to get a better sense of how to pre-write. So if you're just gonna jump into pre-writing right away without watching this video and without looking at the book, you're gonna be um, off task. You know, you're gonna um, write some um, essay that doesn't really align well with the inquiry approach, which is the theme that carries across this um, textbook. <laughs> Okay. Excellent questions there. Um, can I help you with other questions you might have at this point? If you want to know um, how the personal essay look, looks like for this class, you probably should look at this example right here, okay? Mantilla's student sample to, to see what she has done and uh, gain a better sense of how to write your own. So let me just double check to see if the, the link works. Okay, she was um, she was in my 1A class in the um, this last summer, and uh, her essay was well writ written. So I asked her for permission to share with people, and she graciously granted me her permission. So here you are with a personal essay. So she has written a five-page double-space MLA formatted um, essay, and she focused on her education and her identity as a um, bilingual, bicultural person, student. Okay. All right. Um, yes, have any more questions for me? Give them comment. Ask your questions. So this part right here, the task right here, requires that you look at the, the book, okay? So you need to locate the book. 
and look at chapter one yeah. and two and understand what inquiry means. If you look at this picture and you don't know what it means, um, that means that you need to go check the book out. And, and the book is available via a, a, a link under announcements. Okay? So click on that link and get it opened up for you in Drive. And um, scroll down to locate chapter one and two. Oh, I have another question there. Um, extra credit comes very rare for 1A online. So, um, but this semester, there is an extra credit opportunity in April. So April is um, the month where we have the poetry festival at EBC, okay? So if you choose to go, and I did this in the past, if you choose to go, you earn some extra credit. I think I gave 30, 30 points extra credit in the participation category. And then if you uh, choose to present, because the poetry festival enables you to uh, pre um, perform either by re reading aloud your own work or other people's work. And if you do that, then you earn, I think I gave 10, 10 extra credit points to be used in any category. So 30 points extra credit for attending, for going to that uh, festival. Okay, to be used in participation category. Okay, and then you get 10 points extra credit um, if you perform. Now you don't have to compose any poem, you can read an existing poem. Read an existing poem that other people write. Okay, like uh, any, any poem that you like. Uh, Okay. Uh, uh, so uh, you don't have to read your own work. You can read other people's work, and you can use those ten points for any category. Okay. So I I believe this is very generous <laughs> for extra credit um, because, as, as you know, the the personal essay is only thirty points. So if you do you perform at the poetry festival, you already have. Ten extra points to be used in the in the personal essay if you end up getting a low score on it. You know what I mean. So ten point is actually a lot. <laughs> oh my god, my computer has a virus. How do I get get, get rid of it? You know how? <laughs> sorry. This is off topic. I need to get rid of McGathy. It shouldn't be here. I hate McGathy. I don't know how I got it. Anyways, uh, any other questions? Okay, so um, if you come up with more questions and you don't know how to do a task for this week or you're confused about something, please be sure that you email me or you inbox me over here, or you come to um, our next online meeting and ask your question so that I can show you via my computer hands-on on how to do something, okay? Um, have a good rest of your Tuesday and then enjoy your week. Um, work on your week two and uh, I'll get your week one graded soon. And I'll talk to you guys later. Take care.